Hey, it's Tesla Canuck. Welcome back to another video. Last night we got quite a bit of snow, so that means today I'm going to be testing out the Continental Viking Contact 7 winter tires and putting them through uh, their paces. We're going to do a little bit of starting, stopping. We're going to do my infamous icy hill test and uh, go for a quick drive. I'll give you my impressions and welcome to winter. Let's get started. Okay, there's most certainly uh, about nine inches of snow on the ground here and there's no one around it's very early in the morning i'm just going to floor it from a dead stop here in this kind of snow i'm going to be in the deep stuff let's see what happens so uh yeah it's, it's it makes contact with the road right away uh I'm, I'm pretty impressed getting started in this kind of deep stuff wow um okay let's uh i'm just going to back up a little bit And I'm gonna gain, you know, not too much speed. We are in a residential area, but I'm gonna gain up some speed. And then at the stop sign, I'm gonna hit the, uh, the brakes hard and uh, see what happens. Okay, so we are right in the thick stuff, 20 kilometers an hour, 25 kilometers an hour. And, ah, uh, yeah, that, um, it, it feels very grippy and, I'm comparing these to the Sato Zero 2s that I had on my Model 3. Now, of course, this is my Model Y. And again, these are the Continental Viking Contact 7s. They're, they're reasonably priced and uh, so far so good. I mean, I would say the performance is better than the Sato Zeros uh, right off the bat. Okay. So we're gonna make a right here and we're going to go to the icy hill up ahead. Unfortunately, this road has been plowed, but that being said, um, last night we had freezing rain. Underneath all this stuff that you see here is black ice. So it'll still be an interesting test. Uh, the deep snow was really impressive just back there in the in the um, in the residential community that hadn't been plowed so so far so good okay with this test and again there's nobody around me no one behind me i'm going to go about halfway up this hill and uh, then i'm going to gun it and see if we can get started now i know you wouldn't normally go up a hill halfway like this and then gun it I know that, okay, this is a test. I do this for you guys to, uh, to test out what the traction control is like on the Model Y and what the winter tires uh, are like. So here we are, we're at a dead stop and I'm going to floor it. Okay, it gets going right away. There's a little bit of drift as you can see, but uh, you know, considering that there is black ice underneath this uh, layer of snow, as I mentioned, we had freezing rain before the snow. I'd say that's pretty impressive. Uh, let's do a stop test at a little higher speed here. And I'd say that performed very well in terms of the stopping distance at about, I think it was about 45 kilometers an hour there when I hammered the brakes on. Now there is a school bus up here, so uh, we're going to wait before I start doing anything else. Don't do anything stupid, um, you know, when there's children around getting on school buses. So I think, uh, I think that goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyways, because, you know, you never know. <laughs> okay. Um, so this part here, you know, it's been plowed. I'm kind of off to the side. There was a bit of a drift there going about 50 kilometers an hour now uh, she's feeling very stable I'm I'm doing stuff you wouldn't normally be doing just to kind of test it out for you right but I'm not feeling any at the speed uh, threat of, of of the car losing its grip uh, let's go up a little bit higher here while we have clear visibility and hammer on the brakes Great grip, no problem stopping. Obviously you're not stopping like it's dry pavement, but as far as being on snow and, 
and uh, and black ice, I would say that's very impressive. Now, what else can I tell you here? Um, let's check out the regen. So hitting the regen now, I guess I'm not hitting it. I'm actually just letting my foot off the accelerator. But when engaging with the uh, regen, uh, even at these speeds and these conditions, well, there's a little bit of, of like a microsecond there of, uh, of a little bit of a slide out at the rear and the traction control system kicked in and literally that only lasted a fraction of a second in terms of uh, the regen and taking off uh, your, your foot off the accelerator. I know some people have voiced that concern about having so much regen. I like to keep one pedal driving on. I think they actually removed the feature to, uh, to have less aggressive regen, but uh, it's, it's not a problem. Uh, the traction control is going to take over if it uh, recognizes any type of slippage. And coming around the corner there, yeah, it's a, maybe a minor slip, uh, you know, nothing really to be concerned about very icy conditions here. And of course the cameras are blocked because of the sun. That happens quite frequently now. That'll be interesting. That's a totally different topic, but it kind of makes you wonder about full self-driving, especially at this time. This is like prime time for commuting. And the last time I commuted, uh, you know, from where I live down into Toronto, and that's uh, from north to south, I could not use uh, navigate on autopilot or auto lane change or anything, the entire commute. So, but like I said, that's subject for a completely different video. And I think what we'll do is we'll call this one um, completed. The Viking Contact 7s are quite impressive and especially for the price, very difficult conditions and I'm very pleased with the performance. Thanks for watching Tesla Connect, over and out.